So about a week ago, I made a sample and I thought to myself, what would it sound like if someone other than me flipped my sample? So I took it to Instagram and I made a story and I said, hey, if you guys want to participate in a YouTube video, flipping the sample, hit me up. I still haven't heard the flips. I got everything in. Um, so we're about to listen and see how they broke down their beat and samples and all that stuff and see how it went. I don't think I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna choose winners and shit. I'm just gonna listen. Maybe whenever I do this again and there's a prize, then I'll pick a winner. How about that? Cause there's not a winner. I'm just I just did this for fun and whoever wanted to have fun and flip my sample and just be featured on the YouTube channel. That's what it is all about, bro. It's just having fun. But next time, there'll be a prize, hopefully. If I can fucking afford something to give you guys, that's cool. Alright, without further ado, let's let's check these beats out. Before we go into everyone's beats, this is the sample that I made. So that's basically it and what is here is just I stemmed it out so they have the piano, the bass separate and they can chop and do whatever the hell they want. The first one's from Mr. Nosferatu, I hope I'm saying that right. It's like a little ambient part you can hear in the background. And a little drum feel, variation to the, uh, to the original chops of the sample. High pass filter for the outro. Pretty much just slowed it down. Chopped it up. Thanks for the B flip, broski. Yeah. He that sounds crazy. Grimy ass drums, super grimy. Damn, this does not sound like the sample, but it is. If he actually flipped this good. I really like this snare. It has like, I don't know, bro. Maybe it's the reverb on it. It just sounds so big. I love how we how we did that with the keys. That was sick. I would have never flipped my own sample that way. At least I don't think I would have. That's why it's sick listening to what other people would have. Everyone thinks different. Everyone will flip a sample different. And that's why I wanted to do this. <clears throat> okay, next one is from Blair Davis. We use the stems. Actually, I use the stems. First idea was to reverse the piano. It goes like this. Double tracked it. semitones down use this melody it's not a melody it's more of a lead and this bass the bass i'm telling you the bass is amazing i'm gonna probably use it a lot in my future beats thank you for this vibes uh, slow it down and just use the the first note pitched it to my needings i need it g and c one shot here they are Thank you Mirage for hosting this and peace. Let's give this guy a listen. This 
That's crazy. I like the reverseness of this, of how he reversed the chords. Chop the vocals too. I love this like high pitched bell in there. It's like quiet in the background, but it fits in with those reverse chords very well. Damn, solid as fuck. Blair Davis. I approve. That shit was sick. All right, next one is by. Judah created this. First things first, the intro, the original sample book, but just with some, just some EQ automation. I chopped and flipped the sample into some boom bap in, in this first section. Drums, we are using one of Mirage's drum loops. Then we have these vocal chops here just to fill up that space do this second part which is the bridge going into the second beat the second part of the beat which i had changed the tempo from 88 to 127 automation here Mirage, thank you for having me. You know what I'm saying? And I wish y'all the best. Peace. Let's see what he got. Oh. Like that. Wow. It's like, wow. Bro, the intro was like a different pitch than this, and I loved it. Or something, I don't know what it is. This is nice, bro. I, is this my my from my drum loop pack I made? I don't know. It sounds very familiar though. These drums. Oh shit. Damn, chopped and screw, baby. <laughs> We always love the brass, bro. Hell yeah. Damn, bro. It's like three beats in one. Hell yeah. I'll take it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, yeah. God, bro, this is it. These hi hats are going crazy. I love these hi hats. Oh, okay, go ahead with the lead.
wow bro that that whole beat was a fucking roller coaster it started off boom bap and then he had like a an slow felt like chopped and screwed but it wasn't chopped and screwed it was just that feeling and it was like uh super slow and then he came back with the that last one though that sounded like some shit logic would be rapping on bro i'm like you know that shit was gas great job this next one is by Tito G. Hey, what up? My name is Tito G. Huge shout out to Mirage Beats for the special invitation for the Sample Flip Challenge. I'm very grateful and honored to be a part of something very cool and I can't wait for you guys to listen to what I made. Let's jump right into it. What stuck out to me the most on this sample was the melodic part of it. The piano chords and the keys have a very unique bounce to it and I wanted to match my drums to that bounce. What I did with the sample was essentially pitched the sample down to about 380 cents. I don't know what that is in semitones. I pitched it down, man. Also, I increased the tempo just to pick up the speed a little bit on the sample, um, just to give it a little bit more energy. I didn't do anything too crazy with the kick pattern, but I kind of wanted the kick to follow the keys. This is what it sounds like, man. <laughs> Then of course added percussion on top. I wanted to fill in a lot of empty spaces. We need to fill in those pockets, you know, just create more ear candy. So I made the whole atmosphere sound a little bit more wide, if you know what I mean. For example. It's very pretty. On top of that, since the snare doesn't always hit on the two, I wanted to include strings or a type of trumpet instrument to hit on top of the snare. I chopped the keys and the bells, kept it really simple. The intro is my favorite part of this track right here. So I added a vinyl effect mix to the master. Vinyl effect, this gives it a, uh, you know, a different type of atmospheric vibe. I also added a tape stop using the D Blue Tape Stop plugin. Pretty cool. All I did was set an automation clip to the trigger. This is what the intro sounds like. <laughs> So right off the bat, it gives it anticipation for a drop. And as soon as the beat drops, I take the vinyl effect out and then the beat rides. You guys enjoy it. Again, my name is Tito G. Thank you, Mirage, for the invite. Much appreciated, bro. I know it's going to be gas, bro. Tito G's crazy. See? Oh, my God. so much going on and it's like oh yeah i like how you're skipping the snare like boom 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 i love that such a simple thing to do but it's amazing <laughs> Bro, I cannot wait to watch these breakdowns because there's so much going on and I'm like... It's like a chop in the back that's like... I want to know what that is. It sounds so cool over everything. And that little flutter, the like the key run. So nice. All these beats were good as fuck. Like everybody had their own different style. And that came from one sample, all those four different fucking beats. That's so cool to me. I just want to give a big shout out to everyone who flipped the sample and had a good time, bro. Cause I had a great time listening and this is, this is sick as fuck for me. I don't know if you guys like it, but I like it. If you want to be in the next one, go in the comments and be like, let's do another one. I'm, I'm down. And then we'll, you know what I mean? My last video about the samples went crazy and I got hella subs from it so cool thank you guys and everyone who's new hello i love you <laughs> that's it bro i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm, I'm out of here peace i love you bye <laughs>